It's been a while since I've had my M5 on the channel, so I decided to take it out for a little drive. The weather was nice and everything was going well until... It's been a while since I had my M5 on this channel. It's been in my garage for almost two months. So on this episode, we're gonna go ahead and fire it up and take it for a little drive. Before I fire it up, let me go ahead and work on polishing the lower side diffusers first. Last year, I did a DIY on painting some parts on my M5. I sanded down the orange peel and buffed it out but it wasn't until after I installed the side diffusers that I noticed the hazing. So I'm gonna polish that out right now, then return and we'll start the car. We're all set. Let's go ahead and do a cold start. I figure I'd take it around and get some shots with my drone. I found a pretty good spot to fly my drone. The street is not too busy. Let's go set up my drone. We'll see if we can get some good shots. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find I will admit, I did panic a little bit. I've driven my car before and flown my drone, but this is the first time I've crashed. That's gonna be it for today's flying. There's a lot of cars that are going up and down the street and it's making it a little difficult for me to get good shots. And just about maybe half a mile down the street is the airport. So I'm getting some dead zone areas when I'm flying my drone. I'm back on the road. I'm gonna be getting some gas and then we'll try to find a good spot where we can talk about what's going to be coming up next for my M5. Let's rewind with the drone incident on my car. When I first got to the spot, there wasn't that many cars. After I set up my drone and calibrated it, once I started flying, that's when all the cars started showing up. Another issue that I had with flying the drone was the winds were really high today and my drone had some trouble cutting through the wind. And so that made it a challenge. Luckily, there wasn't too much damage to my drone. Even better, there wasn't that much damage to my car. I was fortunate enough that instead of hitting one of the panels, it actually hit the window. 
Right here is where the drone hit. And if you notice, you can see the blades where it hit my window. And I used my nail to smear the area where it hit. And so at first when I looked at this, I thought it cracked my window, but it was just some markings on it. So it wasn't a big deal. This drone insert into today's vlog was a last minute decision. So next time when I decide to fly my drone, I'll scout the area a little bit better and make sure that number one, it's safe to fly. Number two, it's not an area that gets busy. And number three, I was about half a mile from the airport. So I got a lot of restrictions when I was flying. On this episode, the, the off-topic discussion is going to be talking about the shoe game. I haven't covered that in a while, so let's head back inside and talk a little bit more about it. The new shoe that I ended up buying actually wasn't on my radar. I was going for Jordan 4s and I was about to check out and I scrolled down. I noticed that there was a shoe that I seen before and I missed my chance at getting it and luckily they restocked it. If you're looking at the box and you're a shoe head, you probably already know what's inside. Let me go ahead and open it up and reveal the shoe. So these are the Jordan 5 Retro, the Jade Horizons. And I've been wanting to get these actually last year, but I missed my chance. Every once in a while, there's a restock. And after I bought these, I checked the Nike website again and they were completely out of them. So I got really lucky this time. Let me bring them out so you can see them. They actually came originally with matching jade laces. And when I looked at them, I didn't want to have too much of that color overflowing throughout the shoe. I wanted to add some contrast. And the bottom sole here appears black, but it's actually, if you go close up, it's more of a darker charcoal color. So what I did was I went online and I looked for a matching dark charcoal lace and I bought a set for this shoe. And now in my opinion, it looks a lot more better with the laces giving a little bit more contrast to the shoe. So that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for joining. And we'll see you on the next one.